Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking our very first look at Grandstream's brand new Layer 2 Lite multi-gig managed switch, the GWN 7721P. This is an exciting addition to their lineup as it brings high-speed multi-gig connectivity, PoE power, and other enterprise-level features packed into a cost-effective solution. So whether you're growing a business, a home labber, or just interested in Grandstream's networking products, this switch has a lot to offer. So let's dive in and take a look. The Grandstream GWN 7721P is a compact powerhouse designed to give your network speed, stability, and smart management. Right out of the box, you get eight multi-gig 2.5 gig ports plus two SFP Plus ports, delivering the high-speed backbone modern networks demand. For power-hungry devices, the GWN 7721P features eight RJ45 PoE ports with 802.3 AF and AT support, pushing out up to 30 watts per port and a total of 130 watts of PoE power. Perfect for powering access points, IP cameras, or VoIP phones without the extra adapters. When it comes to performance and reliability, this switch checks all the boxes. QoS keeps your critical applications prioritized, while spanning tree protocol ensures the network stability. Add in loop protection, cable testing, and mirroring, and you've got tools that make troubleshooting and uptime easier than ever. Security hasn't been overlooked either. With DHCP snooping, you can block rogue DHCP servers before they wreak havoc on your network. Plus, the built-in PoE watchdog constantly monitors connected devices, and if it detects an issue, it'll automatically reboot that port to bring your device back online without you lifting a finger. All right, I'm signed into the Grandstream GWN 7721P interface, and right off the bat, you can see it's squeaky clean, and that is a Grandstream staple. We're gonna go quickly through the UI so that you get an idea. Let's start over here in the top right corner. We have a save button, we have a search button, we have the GDMS networking icon, and we're not connected to GDMS now. If we were, it would have a little green check mark here, not a gray check mark. Under the admin, Menu, you have the language choices, you have a reboot option, change password, and then you have the option to log out. Here on the system info page, you have basic info and power supply info. The basic info, as you can see, consists of the device name, the location, the contact, MAC address, IP address system version, and I can tell you as of this recording, version 1.0.1.33 is the latest firmware, so no need to do an upgrade in this video. Down at the bottom, the power supply information shows the total PSE power of 130 watts and the PSE remaining power of 130 watts because at this point we're not powering up any PoE devices. If we come over to port info, you have your legend here which depicts the link speed, so you have 10 gig, 2.5 gig, 1 gig, and so forth. And then if you click on each of the individual ports, you can get the basic info for each port and the power supply info as well. Coming over to the system menu, under IP settings, you have the management VLAN, you have your IP4 address settings, you can set it to DHCP or static, it's DHCP out of the box. The management platform gives you the choice of your management platform preference. Auto is the default. You have GDMS networking, L2 manager, and L3 manager. Under switching, if we go to port settings, you can see that jumbo frames, the default is 9216, and you have your different options here to change. If you go into an individual port, you can have the description entered here, enable the port, you could decide if you want auto configured for the speed duplex mode and flow control. If you want to manually change Joe's, just turn off auto, and then you can see all the options become available. Coming over to lag, we can do link aggregation on ports one through five. We have MAC address search, and then we have spanning tree protocol here. Under VLAN, by default, you have port VLAN enabled, and what port VLAN is is just a set of eight preset VLANs for simplicity out of the box. When port VLAN is enabled, and again, it is by default, you cannot use 802.1Q simultaneously at the same time. If you want to use 802.1Q where you can create your own custom VLANs, 
come to 802.1Q, enable it. When you click OK, it'll automatically disable the port VLAN right out of the box. And now you can go ahead and create your own custom VLANs. If we go back and take a look at port VLAN, you can see now that it is disabled. Come over to IGMP snooping and you have your global settings and your dynamic router port. And of course, a Grandstream switch wouldn't be a Grandstream switch if it didn't come with all the QoS settings that Grandstream is known for. Under security, we have our DHCP snooping. And here you can enable DHCP snooping. It's off by default. If you come into the individual ports, you can change the trust mode from untrust to trusted. We come over to PoE, we go to power supply info. Here's your summary. You can see that the total PSE power is 130 watts. PSE power consumption is zero, again, because we don't have any devices plugged in. So our remaining power is 130 watts. Under power supply settings, you can go into each port and adjust the power supply settings. You can change the power supply mode, off auto class mode or forced on, and you could also change the priority settings as well. And then we have PoE Watchdog, which is disabled by default. You can go into the port and you can enable it here. And again, PoE Watchdog monitors devices on the network. And if it notices any anomalies, then it will attempt to restart the device to bring it back online. Under monitoring, we have port statistics, port mirror, cable test, and loopback detection. Great troubleshooting tools all here in the GWN 7721P. Under maintenance, we have upgrade options. Again, we are at the latest firmware. We have backup and restore options as well as a factory reset option. We have a ping tool built in, SNMP tool built in, and LLDP as well. So the GWN7721 comes in two flavors, a PoE version, which is the one we looked at, and a non-PoE version. Both come with the eight 2.5 gig ports and the two SFP plus ports. As you can see here at IP Phone Warehouse, the non-POE version has a retail price of 75 US dollars and the POE version, which we looked at again, has a retail price of 130 US dollars. And that wraps up our first look at the Grandstream GWN 7721P Layer 2 Lite Multi-Gig Switch. Packed with tons of features and offered at a great price, do you think this switch has what it takes to compete with other brands in the multi-gig space? Let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell so you don't miss out on other reviews and tutorials. Thanks for watching and take care.